Good afternoon, students. Student, yesterday we have started our ninth chapter of history, that is the making of the national movement of 1870 and 1947. Right, students? First of all, we have discussed the things, whatever we have studied in the previous chapter, means these, to these topics we have discussed. Uh, you can say that from first chapter to eighth chapter. Whatever we have studied, we have discussed all these things uh, in a brief scene, right? After then, we have started our topic, the emergence of nationalism. Means we have studied about it that uh, how the feeling of the nationalism it has been created in our Indian society, right? We have discussed all these things in this chapter, right? Now, dear student, from today's video lecture, we will start our new topic and next topic that is a nation in the making. We will start from further here. So before studying this thing, dear student, at the right side of this page, we see this picture of Dada Bhai Naroji. Here you have one Mark's most important question that name the book of Dada Bhai Naroji. The book is Poverty and Un-British Rule in India. The name of the book is Poverty and Un-British Rule in India. It would be the, you can say that most important question as a one marks question for you, right? If we think about in this book, Dada Bhai Naroji, he criticized the economic, he criticized the impact, economical impact of British rule in India. Means in India, we have bad economical impact because British government made such a policy which ruined, which destroyed our trade and you can say that our industry, uh, industrial area also, as we have studied all these things in the previous chapters also. So in this book, Dada Bhai Naroji criticized the economical impact of the British rule over India. Means India ke under British government ne jo jo schemes and policies chalai thi, jiski vijay se hamara Indian jo manufacturing area tha, ya hamari Indian industry jo thi, they have become backward, they have declined. So, un sab chijo ke under, un sab chijo ko, Dada Bhai Naroji ne apni is book, Poverty and Un-British Rule in India, is book ke under criticize kya hai, is book ke under discuss kya hai. So dear student, this would be the most important question for you. Underline this question and write it in your notebook. Remember this thing. Now let's continue our chapter. A nation in the making. So dear student, in the previous video lecture, we have studied about that. Different association has been found in our India and they were the, uh, the leader of these political parties and these political association. Uh, they were educated person, they were professionals, and due to this thing, the feeling of the nationalism, it has been created, right? So in that these associations, we have studied about our Indian National Congress, which was found in 1885. And this political party, it has played an important role in our Indian freedom struggle. You all know about it, right students? Now, Indian, Indian National Congress, it was found in 1885. From 1885 and rest of the 20 years, Indian National Congress, it has, you can say that a moderate phase. It has a very moderate phase. Its demand is very different. It demand is very, uh, you can say, it has very few demands for it. So it has, of, uh, it has of, uh, often been said that the Congress in the first 20 years, it means 1885 to you can say that uh, 1905, right? So up to 1905, means from these 20 years, the Congress, it was moderate in its objective and in its method. Means uh, during this period, it just only demand only something in the administration and in the government. It demanded just only that uh, we have uh, the representation of India in the Indian Legislative Council, it must be increased. Just only उन्होंने representative जो जो representation था उसकी demand की थी इससे ज़्यादा उन्होंने कुछ नहीं किया था. Just only they demanded just only these things. Means they never demanded independence up to 1905. And you can see that in uh, up to 1929 also. We will discuss this thing uh, in 1929 what had happened. We will discuss in the later part of this chapter 
remember so do you, uh, dear student during the period means during the, the, these 20 years uh, congress demanded a great voice for indian in the government and in the administration it wanted the legislative councils to be made more representative it means more power must be given to uh, you can say that uh, to the indian member and it introduced in province uh, provinces also where none existed means uh, there must be some provincial legislative council and the uh, representation must be given in it also it demanded that indian would be placed in high position in the government means in the government post congress demanded this thing means these are just only the moderate phase these are just only the moderate phase that it just only demanded that representation must be given to it high post must be given to uh, to the indian people it demanded just only these things nothing else for this purpose it called for civil service examination to be held in india as well not just only in only in london means if you want uh, you have heard about upsc examination to make ias officer you have studied, uh, you have listened about it uh, before uh, before this thing the upsc examination it has uh, it, it was it was conducted just only in london not in india if you want to be an ias officer you need to go in london for the examination to appear in the examination so due to uh, to get more and more representation to get more high post for the indian people indian people and you can say congress demanded that this upsc exam this civil service examination it would must be conducted in india also so that many people those who are poor also they can uh, they, uh, they can appear for the, the, that exam and they can uh, have a fair chance to get this uh, civil service so that's why it demanded this thing right so dear student after 1885 and from the next 20 years whatever the demand uh, demands were demanded by the british uh, by the uh, congress it was just only a moderate things the objective the methods whatever uh, is adopted by the congress it was totally moderate moderate agar hum baat karte hain usne keval simple si reasonable si thing, uh, things ke bare mein discuss kiya usne kabhi compulsion ki to baat ki hi nahi कभी भी उसने स्ट्रेस किसी चीज के ऊपर नहीं डाला जस्ट ओनली मोटेड डिमांड्स उसने अपनी रखी हैं, राइट द डिमांड फॉर इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन ऑफ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इट वाज़ द पार्ट ऑफ द मूवमेंट अगेंस्ट रेसियलिज्म जो रेशियल पॉलिसी है उसके आधार पे इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन की जो डिमांड थी या एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन की जो डिमांड थी वो उसने रखी सिंस मोस्ट ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट जॉब एट दैट टाइम दे वर मोनोपोलाइज मोनोपोलाइज का मतलब एकाधिकार होना by the white official only and by the britishers only because the britishers they assumed that indians could not be given the, such a positions and responsibilities they were not able to handle these things hamesha un cheezon ke upar monopoly means ek adhikar hua karta tha high post ke upar ki just only britishers they could handle these jobs indian could not handle these jobs this was the monopoly right since british officers they were sending a major part of their large salary salaries home so it was hoped that by from the indian side it was hoped that it would also reduce the drain of wealth to england most important thing drain of wealth the word this word it is used by dada bhai noroji drain to wealth remember this thing this word drain to wealth the drain of wealth it was said these words were said by dada bhai naruji what does it mean it means that the resources whatever belong to india they were sent to the britishers they were sent to england and the benefit of these resources just only is for the england wo keval england ko hi mil raha hai so that's why dada bhai naruji use this word drain of wealth it means that the resources they were said these were sending in england in different means in different manner right friends other demanded uh, demand demanded included the separation of judiciary from the executive also means judiciary must be different we have special judicial system 
and in this judicial system fair trial must be given must be held and even the indian judge they must have some basic right so that the indian judge could <coughs> तो अदर डिमांड की अगर हम बात करते हैं तो जुडिशरी को सेपरेट करने की बात की है एंड आल्सो ही डिमांडेड दैट रिपील रिपील द आर्म्स एक्ट रिपील्स इट मींस दैट रद्द करना रिपील का मतलब रद्द करना आर्म्स एक्ट को रद्द किया जाए फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच एंड एक्सप्रेशन मस्ट बी गिवन तो डियर स्टूडेंट दीज वर फ्यू डिमांड्स बाय द Uh, congress and these are you can say that uh, these are some moderate demands right so these are uh, the other demands that uh, judiciary must be separated from the executive arms act must be repealed and the freedom of speech and uh, expression must be given right so these were the different demands uh, uh, asked and you can say that uh, demanded by the congress during the first 20 years The early Congress also raised a number of economic issues. Also, it declared that British rule it had led to poverty and famines. This is the most important thing, dear student, <clears throat> because this these economical issues are very uh, you can say that intense in, uh, in these ha have very bad impact over India also. So remember this thing that Congress it had raised a number of economical issues. It declared that British rule it had led to the poverty and famines. it also increased the land revenue also which impoverished the peasants and zamindars jinki wajah se peasant aur zamindar jo the wo gareeb ho gaye the right and the Euro, uh, british it export the grains to european areas so due to this this thing food shortage was there in our india right so these issues it has been raised by the british uh, by the congress during the first 20 years the congress had demanded that revenue must be reduced exp military expenditure is, it must be minimized and if we think about that the uh, more and more fund must be given for the irrigation these things have been demanded by the you can say that by the congress <coughs> it passed many regulation like salt tax treatment of the indian laborers in abroad and the suffering of the forest dwellers caused by the interfering forest and administration so these things must uh, have been uh, issued and has been raised by the british uh, by the congress also all this show that despite being a body of educated elite the congress did not talk only on half of the professional group zamindars and industrialists yahan par kehne ka maqsad ye hai ki as a educated member hone ke nate कांग्रेस ने कुछ ही व्यक्तियों के बारे में नहीं बात की बल्कि उसने हर एक वर्ग को शामिल किया अपनी इन डिमांड्स के अंदर राइट सो दीज आर द थिंग्स वट एवर इज डिमांडेड बाय द ब्रिटिशर्स बाय द कांग्रेस ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स द मोटेड लीडर दे वांटेड टू डेवेल्प पब्लिक अवेयरनेस अबाउट द अनजस्ट नेचर ऑफ द ब्रिटिश द पब्लिश अ लोट ऑफ न्यूज पेपर्स दे रोट डिफरेंट आर्टिकल्स and they showed how british rule was leading to the economic ruin for the country means the moderate people the wo chahte the ki indian people ko jo british people ka unjust fees hai it must be exposed wo dikhai de isliye unhone kya kiya different articles ka nirman kiya different articles ko likha theek hai unhone kya kiya different articles ko likha aur un articles ke andar कि किस प्रकार से ब्रिटिश रूल और इंडियन इकोनॉमिकल डिस्ट्रॉय का रीजन है उन सब चीजों को वहां पर शो किया उन आर्टिकल्स के माध्यम से क्रिटिसाइज किया गया जो इकोनॉमिकल प्रॉब्लम हमारे सामने आ रही है इट वो जस्ट ओनली ड्यू टू द ब्रिटिशर्स इवन द क्रिटिसाइज द ब्रिटिश रूल इन देयर स्पीसी स्पीच ऑल्सो देंट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इन डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री सो दैट द पब्लिक ओपिनियन कैन बी मोबलाइज and be gathered taki public opinion ko fo ko formulate kiya ja sake they felt that the british had respect for the ideals of the freedom and justice and so they would accept the just demands of the indians 
उनका मानना था कि ब्रिटिश को इंडियन आइडियाज की रिस्पेक्ट करनी पड़ेगी उनको एक्सेप्ट करना पड़ेगा ये डिमांड उनकी थी एंड वट वॉज नेसेसरी वॉज टू एक्सप्रेस दीज डिमांड एंड मेक द गवर्नमेंट अवेयर ऑफ द फीलिंग ऑफ इंडियन क्वेश्चन यही पर यही था एक ऐसी क्या चीज नेसेसरी थी जिनकी वो डिमांड कर रहे थे वो था हमारा हम सबका एकजुट होकर उनके साथ करना राइट सो डियर स्टूडेंट आफ्टर 1885 एंड यू कैन से दैट नेक्स्ट फॉर नेक्स्ट 20 इयर्स फॉर द नेक्स्ट 20 इयर्स अगर मैं बात करता हूं कांग्रेस की इट वाज जस्ट ओनली हैविंग अ मॉडरेट फेज it demanded just only the representation in the different legislative council it demanded just only some moderate demands okay these are the things and you can say these were the things but uh, uh, what uh, congress demanded during this time now our next topic it would be freedom is our birthright this is the most important these are the most important words by बाल गंगाधर तिलक नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इट डज इट मीन फ्रीडम इज आर बर्थ राइट दीज वर्ड्स आर सेड बाय बाल गंगाधर तिलक लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट इट बाय द 1890s मेनी इंडियंस दे बिगन टू रेज डिफरेंट क्वेश्चंस अबाउट द पॉलिटिकल स्टाइल ऑफ द कांग्रेस इन बंगाल इन महाराष्ट्र in punjab the leaders such as bipin chandrapal bal gangadhar tilak lala lajpat rai all were the beginning to explore the more radical objective and methods kyunki congress abhi tak moderate manner se demand karti thi theek hai wo hamesha non violent method se demand karti thi but ye jo persons the they are the radical persons they demanded They are objective in a radical manner. उनको weapons लाने में कोई problem नहीं थी, right? वो violence करने में कोई problem नहीं थी. So that's why they criticize the moderate for their political of prayers. Even they stress the importance of self reliance and constructive work. कहते कि आप तो उनसे just only भीख मांग रहे हो, ठीक है? भीख में कुछ नहीं मिलता. वो हमेशा कहते हैं कि वी मस्ट बी सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट वो हमेशा एग्रेसिव मोड की बात कर रहे हैं दे आर्ग्यू दैट पीपल मस्ट रिलाई ऑन देयर ओन स्ट्रेंथ मींस उनको अपनी स्ट्रेंथ को समझना पड़ेगा नोट ऑन द नोट ऑन द गुड इंटेंशन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ना कि गवर्नमेंट की भीख के ऊपर डिपेंड रहना पड़ेगा ये हमेशा डिमांड करती थी पीपल मस्ट फाइट फॉर सवाज उनकी डिमांड ये रहती थी People must fight for the suffrage. आप जो demand कर रहे हो ना government से, it was just only a begging. ये एक भीख है, nothing else. That's why Bal Gangadhar Tilak he raised a slogan that is, "Freedom is my birthright and I shall have it." Suffrage मेरा जन्म सिद्ध अधिकार है, मैं इसे लेकर रहूँगा. These were the words. This uh, this is the slogan by Bal Gangadhar Tilak. remember this is the most important question but i think freedom is my birth right and i shall have it who said these words who gave this slogan who raised this slogan this is bal gangadhar tilak right friends i think so the word freedom is our birth right is these words are clear to all of you <coughs> and the student in congress two ideology has been created the first one is moderate and the second one is radicals the first one is moderate and the second one is radicals moderates they de demanded just only representation they just only demanded the government but radicals they said that we must be dependent on us we must uh, we must uh, you can say that uh, uh, understand the our strength wo radical mode ki demand karte the wo radical mode ki demand karte now see the picture on the right side figure number 3 that is bal gangadhar tilak okay on the table there is a newspaper of kesri a marathi newspaper edited by tilak 
ठीक है और इसके अंदर वो क्या करते थे ब्रिटिश रूल को क्रिटिसाइज क्या करते थे राइट नाउ लेट स्टडी अनदर थिंग दिस वुड बी द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट ड्यूरिंग दाइनटीन जीरो फाइव वी हैव वॉयस राय दैट इज लोड करजन ड्यूरिंग दाइनटीन जीरो फाइव वी हैव वॉयस राय दैट इज लोड करजन okay and this year 1905 it uh, was uh, remembered in these days as a partition of bengal 1905 ke andar lord karchan ne bengal ka partition kiya tha jo aapka bangladesh bana hua hai na <coughs> ye hamare india ka part tha aur ye pura ka pura west bengal hua karta tha ab baat karte hain kyun kiya gaya <coughs> kyun kiya gaya okay reason is that जो ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट ने रीजन दिया था वो रीजन ये था दैट बेंगोल इट इज अ लार्ज प्रोविंस और ऐसे प्रोविंस को अगर हम एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन करते हैं इट इज नॉट कन्वीनियंट टू मेक बेटर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव पोजीशन, ठीक है तो उन्होंने क्या किया हम बेंगोल का पार्टीशन कर दे दिस एक्सक्यूज वॉज गिवन बाय द ब्रिटिश दिस एक्सक्यूज वॉज गिवन बाय द ब्रिटिश बट इन रियल सेंस बट इन रियल सेंस वट दे वॉन्टेड क्योंकि हमारे इंडिया के अंदर सबसे ज्यादा जो फ्रीडम मूवमेंट हुई जो फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल के अंदर जो मैक्सिम पार्टिसिपेशन किया वो किया गया था बेंगोल के अंदर वो किया गया था बेंगोल के अंदर ठीक है और हिंदू और मुस्लिम इन दोनों ने इकट्ठा मिलकर किया था सबसे बड़ी बात यह थी ठीक है नाउ ब्रिटिश सर दे वॉन्टेड टू यूज हियर डिवाइड एंड रूल पॉलिसी डिवाइड एंड रूल पॉलिसी जो ईस्टर्न पार्ट था बेंगोल का यहां पर मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी की स्ट्रेंथ ज्यादा थी और जो वेस्टर्न पार्ट था वहां पर हिंदू कम्युनिटी की बैनी की थी तो डिवाइड एंड रूल पॉलिसी को अडोप्ट करते हुए ताकि ये हमारी नेशनल मूवमेंट इट वुड बी स्लो डाउन इस चीज को शो करने के लिए इस चीज को खत्म करने के लिए लोड कर्जन ने जो वाइस वाई लोड कर्जन थे उन्होंने बेंगोल पार्टीशन किया नाइनटीन जीरो फाइव के अंदर This was the real reason, <clears throat> right? But, but they gave an excuse that due to the administrative policy, due to the administrative system, so that they can administer uh, administer the Bengal in a very effective manner. They divide this, uh, they partition the Bengal. They have given this excuse, right? I think so. This partition of Bengal, it is clear to all of you. <clears throat> Now in 1905, Boy Sri Karjan he partitioned Bengal. At that time, Bengal it was a biggest provinces of the British India. It included Bihar and some part of the Orissa also. British argued for dividing Bengal for the reason of the administrative convenience. But what did administrative convenience mean? Whose convenience did it represent? Clearly, it was closely tied to the interest of the British officer and businessman. Even so, instead of remo removing North Bengali areas from the provinces, the government separated East Bengal and merged it with the Assam. Means, उन्होंने क्या किया? उसे Assam में जोड़ दिया. Perhaps the main uh, motive of the British sir was to curtail the influence of the Bengali politician and to split the Bengali people. ताकि ये जो हमारी नेशनल मूवमेंट बेंगोल में इतनी चल रही है उसको सोटा उसको खत्म किया जा सके उसको खत्म किया जा सके और जिस वक्त इस बेंगोल का पार्टीशन हुआ द इंडियन पीपल इन ऑल ओवर इंडिया दे वर गोट एंग्री ऑल द सेक्शन ऑफ द कांग्रेस वेदर इट इज मोडरेट वेदर इट इज रेडिकल दे ऑल अपोज इट दे ऑल अपोज इट लार्ज पब्लिक मीटिंग्स डेमोनस्ट्रेशन they were organized even novel methods of the mass protest it has been developed it has been developed the struggle that unfolded came to be known as the swadeshi movement at that time it was came to be known as the swadeshi movement the uh, swadeshi movement the strongest it is very strongest in the bengal but the echoes elsewhere too in delta ik andhra uh, andhra of for example it was known as a <coughs> veda mantram movement ise veda mantram movement jo ki andhra pradesh ka coastal area tha wahan par isko veda mantram movement ka naam diya gaya tha 
आई थिंक सो बेंगोल का इस पार्टीशन की बातें आपको क्लियर हो चुकी होंगी सो वी हैव कवर्ड दिस थिंग द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर नेक्स्ट थिंग ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट ओके we will discuss all the uh, rest of the part in the next video lecture hope so everything is clear so i'll see you in the next video thank you have a nice day